Our economy relies heavily on an abundance of fossil resources, such as oil, natural gas and coal. That is not a sustainable situation. A transition to a bio-based economy is imperative. Renewable resources derived from plants can be used to produce chemicals, materials, energy and fuel. However, building a bio-based economy requires innovation, joint efforts and new forms of cooperation. With its research and education, Wageningen UR has a central position in laying the foundation for a bio-based economy. Technical innovation and socio-economic development need to go hand in hand in order to successfully boost the transition. We oversee the entire chain. We understand the agriculture aspects and develop the knowledge needed to convert the green raw materials sustainably and effectively into bio-based products. We also help to close the loop between production, consumption and waste. What is the idea? Just like the petrochemical industry, the bio-based industry is based on refining raw materials into usable resources. But instead of the raw material being fossil oil, renewable resources like crops or agricultural waste are used. Through biorefinery, components are derived from these resources and used to create materials, chemicals, energy and biofuels. The remnants of the biorefinery process can partly be reused as input for crop production. In this way, crops are used to their full potential. The first steps towards a bio-based economy have already been taken. A special example are plastic bottles consisting of PET, polyethylene thiethylate. Already ethylene glycol, one of the two building blocks of this material, can be produced from biomass. Wageningen UR works together with its industrial partners on replacing the other building block, terephthalic acid, the T, now derived from petroleum, by furan dicarboxylic acid, the F, which is derived from hemicellulose from wheat straw. The PET bottle turns into a PEF bottle. This means the wheat residue, which contains indigestible components for humans and animals, is being put to good use. The knowledge is available. Together with industries, we develop the technologies. Fortunately, more and more companies show interest in these technologies. One such company is Sinbra, that produces foam for the packaging industry. Foam is normally based on expanded polystyrene. Wageningen UR developed biofoam based on polylactic acid, PLA. The polylactic acid is made from carbon hydrates from plants. The production cycle of biofoam emits less amounts of carbon dioxide compared to traditional foam, a truly green innovation. Wageningen UR developed the polylactic acid foam, PLA. And now we make use of new pilot plant to produce biofoam in large quantities as there is much interest among our customers. Besides biorefinery research, Wageningen UR also works on the development of new biomass sources with an optimal composition of useful components. For example, in the research facility LG Park, present cultivation technologies are compared and new reactor concepts and process strategies will be developed to achieve lower production costs and energy requirements in order to scale up production. Microalgae have high productivity, can grow on seawater and are very efficient in using waste streams as a nutrient stock. However, technology needs to be developed to turn microalgae into a competitive stock. Together with industry, Wachting and UR, University and Research Center is not only creating the knowledge, but it's also filling the gap between fundamental research on algae and full-scale algae plants. In close collaboration with businesses and governmental institutions, Wageningen UR is working on developing the bio-based economy, a more sustainable economy based on renewable resources with less impact on the environment. That is how Wageningen UR contributes to the quality of life. For more information, check out our website, biobasedeconomy.wur.nl.